tonight's sale is going to be starting shortly, so please stick around and wait until we go live. We're excited. We've got a lot of great stuff for you to see and buy tonight. So make sure you stick around until we go live. It's coming. Please stand by. Tonight's sale is going to be starting shortly, so please stick around and wait until we go live. We're excited, we got a lot of great stuff for you to see and buy tonight. So make sure you stick around until we go live. It's coming, please stand by. Tonight's sale is going to be starting shortly, so please stick around and wait until we go live. We're excited, we've got a lot of great stuff for you to see and buy tonight. So make sure you stick around until we go live. It's coming, please stand by. Tonight's sale is going to be starting shortly, so please stick around and wait until we go live. We're excited, we got a lot of great stuff for you to see and buy tonight. So make sure you stick around until we go live. It's coming, please stand by. Oh, we are. Uh, are we? You have my mic on? Yeah. Okay, folks. I'm hoping you can all hear me. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Now, the real kid. I see Lenny's here and Wes and Puck Chucker and Biff, Richie, Wayne, Everett, Tim, Richie. Uh, oh, no, the same Richie. Jay Jones, Wild Geese, uh, China. The Map Crow, Gold Wings, Acid Rain. My gosh, I'm glad you're all joining us. This is our first time. Oh, we're broadcasting over three venues. If you're watching on Facebook or Twitch, you can watch there. I just don't know how we're going to get to the comments. Terry's going to try to read them. And I'm going to try to look over here, too, on the telescreen. This is a short one tonight, 20 items, because we're going to see if this works and what the lag time looks like, especially uh, if we're on um, the Facebook channel. That seemed to be the biggest lag, almost 30 seconds. And Tony is here, good, and Richard, and N24, Night Horse, Peter. We got Punch-Out Artist, Gleo, and Zach. We got a bunch of new people that weren't here before. Shane, Carlos, Biff. And Tony's beautiful wife, she's there. Is it my penny there, too? 
I hope. Carlos is here? Okay. Uh, what I'm going to try to do is look at the comments. Uh, Mike uh, Fresca and Louise and James Price and Tom Malloy, they're all watching on Facebook, but you won't be able to bid from there if you want any of this garbage. But you can watch. Now, Timmy and Sean are out doing a delivery, and they are hoping to get back. So right now there's only Terry at the controls and me, and Curdy is in the back getting a big shipment. Timmy and Sean are, are taking a shuffle alley all the way down to Alexandria, Virginia, about four and a half hours from TNT. They're delivering that tomorrow. Hey, David, and Retro Gaming, that's Todd. And uh, Matt, another Todd. That's such a great name. Boy, Thunderbird, Phil's here. Uh, let's see. And there's Everett again. Uh, uh, let's see. Okay, we got everybody. We are back. Now, we're going to start. Uh, we're going to do a combination of two different items, uh, two different sales. The best offer sale means the highest sale will win. Now, you notice on the left of your screen, if you're watching uh, on the, um, your TV at home, uh, if you're watching from sale.tntamusements.com, that is, you will be able to see all that information. <coughs> I am guessing and hoping that my voice is clear. We only have two mics. We have this, the camera mic's off, and Terry has a mic right by her console, which she has off unless she has to interject. Do you have your headphones on too, sweetie? Yeah. Okay, we were watching last night. If you were watching the live feed, you could see us. We were experimenting with this stuff. Uh, Northeast Camper, that's John, is here. Wes is back. And Gideon, I am the nicest person. I like hearing that. Axel Welsh is here too. And Joe, good. Joe's, Joe's tuned in. And Terry is, is doing plenty of things here. So soon, uh, Shawnee and... Um, Timikins. Tim will be here. And I'm hoping Kurt will make his usual appearance. We're going to start with a Double Dragon PCB. Now, Double Dragon was the first game, the first game where the logic board was on the bottom of the machine inside a drawer that pulled out. Double Dragon was also the first game where people would, would go into a store, a candy store where it was, pry open the front of the drawer. It was only held in by one little lock, by one little uh, keeper, and steal the board. Yes, that happened a lot, especially in the bad neighborhoods, because this board set was very valuable. It was one of the first JAMA boards. It doesn't even say JAMA on the board. And also, Double Dragon is famous for piss. P-I-S-S, -S, piss. Because this is the board at the Mices, settled it, made a little nest on top of that nice warm board, built their lovely nest, had their babies, and peed all over the board, thus ruining the top board. That is why you find perfectly working bottom boards and non-working top boards. That's why. The piss factor. I want you to say that, type it in the chat, the piss factor. No one's typed it. Well, Tim said mice. Double piss. Okay, there we go. Why well, call it the piss? Now, here is something intriguing. There is no piss on this board. But, oh, by the way, the answer to all the trouble is we moved the cable and put the board inside the machine on the back where the monitor was, and we ran the, the JAMA cable up. We rewired the cabinet, and nothing was on the bottom drawer, and then we put 3,000 screws in the bottom. So that, that's how everybody solved the stealing of the board and the piss problem. Board on the side of the game doesn't get pissed on. Oh, what happened to Operation Wolf 2, didn't it? Yes, the drawer. Now, see, Midway got it right. They put the drawer sideways. Berserk, Stern got it right. They had the drawer sideways, not on the bottom. This board is available. It is a uh, this is a best offer. It does not work. It has garbage on the screen. I did not try to fix it or test it, but I can tell you there is no rust. There's no damage. There's nothing on the board that looks out of kilter. It just doesn't work. And I did not ex uh, exchange boards. I don't have another double dragon right now. So I did not exchange boards. Okay. So Terry has opened the bid. Uh, we're already up to $65 by AJ85. 
for a nice, clean, unpissed on double dragon. And uh, I think because in the le lead of time, unmolested, yes, Rusty, isn't that a great word, Rusty? Unmolested. Ah, well, I should take it in there, Ryan. I should take it in the TNT bathroom. You know, I just scrubbed the toilet again. I scrub my own toilets, you know. Anyway, Terry, I think we're ready for a countdown. Now, you got 20 seconds to make a higher offer than $65. 20 seconds. Remember, if you're watching on Facebook or Twitch, you have to go to sale.tntamusements.com to make offers. Countdown is going on. It's going on. It looks like I think we have it sold. AJ is the high bidder. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. AJ, the board is yours. Now, listen, everybody says, oh, how do I pay for it? And I'm going to send you bills. We'll send them out probably tonight. We'll combine everything. We'll ship it the cheapest possible way, okay? And I'll send you a bill. You, at the, you will get a refund if it turns out to be a hair cheaper. Yes. Uh, can you pull the, um, the uh, stuff off the... Uh, uh, one of the tablecloths off, Terry. Yeah. So we put it directly. Good. We're, we're, we're kind of tight here in the PP, or the gamma. Oh, good. Night. I see Ryan. Thank you, Ryan. <coughs> good. Uh, Guns and Roses, Leb Zepp, Hot Wheels, and a bunch of... Yes. They're, they are actually all good games. They're all good games. Do you have the next one yet? I do. Uh, the next one is... A buy it now. We're going to experiment. Buy it now means we're going to put a... Pre oh, oh, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wrong one. Donkey Kong. Wrong one. I put that right here. All right, the next one is a set. Um, when we sell a Donkey Kong or Donkey Kong Jr., we buy brand new, well, the repro, but brand new monitor bezels, a brand new control panel overlay. So, consequently... Here's one we had done. We had saved both pieces. The monitor bezel has a couple scratches on it. Um, novice 3, then Novice 2, Novice 1 will definitely lessen them. But we weren't going to be bothered. And look, this control panel is in good shape. I'm going to get closer to the camera. This is where we really need... Um, uh, Terry's going to hold this. This is in actually good shape. It has the instruction card. It's not perfect. If you notice by the one and two player, uh, move it over a hair, Terry. Uh, that's right. Uh, there's a little bit of burn, but not much. It, it's actually in good shape. So uh, we're going to sell both in one, one, uh, in one auction. So you're going to get this and the monitor. Now we'll ship it. If this is the only thing you buy, obviously we'll ship it flat, uh, surrounded by cardboard. It'll arrive safe and sound. Pretty much everything we sell. Now, the scratch there, you can see one scratch, and the second one there. They look pretty severe, but they're, uh, they're really not. But I think with Novice, you can buff them out. The rest of it's clean. Um, it looks pretty good. Yes, I, Marcy, I did the, I, put, I have all these 41 years stickers. I didn't know what to do with them because I'm up to 42 years. Anyway, um, the um, reserve is met. Uh, it looks like Hayward, oh, that's, uh, oh, I can't remember everybody. I'm trying so hard. The Adams family guy who has put 55. He's got, we're going to be redoing his Adams family. Uh, he's the top offer of $55. So we're going to start the countdown now. So you've got 20 seconds. If any of you are toying about the idea of buying this pair of things, you have 16 seconds left. If you're watching on Facebook, it's a really big lag, I think. A really big one. But we got eight seconds. Anybody else want this? No, it looks like uh, you're going to be getting it. And it is officially sold, $55. And that is gone. Thank you very much. I, I'm sitting here. J.D. Dwyer. That's it. That's it. Thank you, J.D. I appreciate it. Okay, that's what I pulled this out before. We have a few of these, and I am going to get, sell this for the lowest price I've ever sold it for. It's a brand new 
Gottlieb Big House, very low run game. The colors are beautiful when it's lit from behind. It's got the uh, Peter Lorre, um, uh, Edward G. Robinson faces, uh, that, but they're in, in the form of dogs. And they're, except the two people in the corner, the rest of them are dogs and the two people up top. So it's, it'll look really nice framed. Actually, Terry, is this light working? Um, hey, Terry. Can you turn the uh, camera over here? Now, we're going to do a buy it now on this. Now, what that means, there we go. Uh, the buy it now means she's going to put the buy it now there, and you're going to have whoever hits the buy it now button first will get it. We have this price low run. Nobody wanted it, Paul. Everybody wanted it. Um, uh, the arrow one. Yes, the arrow one. Yes. There it is. That's better. That's very nice. I'm very nice. So anyway, there it is. Okay. Which one looks like Frank? That's mean. Okay, you can turn the light back on, sweetie. Penny. Penny is watching, probably from the sofa, and I hope I'm on your big screen. Okay, here's the price. Who's going to hit the button first? There you go. 20 buck gone. Basket case, got it. Okay. And obviously, we're going to ship this in a roll. The Mylar is in great shape. There's no, because it hasn't been, it's not cracking like the old ones are. If you could take that, Terry, that would be marvelous. And we are now up to something that I can't test. Now, I see Steve and Gino, everybody's watching. I think oh, this is Facebook. It's 17 seconds behind, it looks like. Um, uh, Aaron's on here. Um, no, the bid site. Oh gosh, no! I'm, we're seeing bids on the uh, the chat on YouTube. Terry, do you see bid uh, chat on the bid site? On what Facebook? No, on on the chat, the TV. I see them on my right side. I see plenty of chats. Hey, Alex, I got your stuff boxed up, but if we'll open up the box and put more stuff in, if you end up buying more things, Alex bought uh, CPS two Super Street Fighter. I uh, uh, board last last sale a week ago, I think it was just a week ago. We weren't going to do this, but uh, Jillian is. This is actually Jillian's idea to come up with a to put this show on three platforms again to get to get the word out more or less. All right, uh, Donkey. Here we are, Donkey Dong. All right, I came across a Donkey Kong board. Uh, see with a wireless mic. When I walk away from the camera, my voice level doesn't drop. Bags! That's right, Alex. Now, this is a four set, four board set. This was mostly in the cocktail games because they made the them so small with that wretched little 13 inch monitor, the Sanya monitor you can't get the flyback for. But when they made Donkey Kong Jr., they put the 19 inch Sanyo. And the deep board. <coughs> Excuse me. That's the downside of this. Um, Donkey Dong. Yes. Isn't it called Donkey Dong? D-U-N-G? Anyway. Uh, this board set has to be in a cocktail or a real upright that has all the little plugs. Because this does not have the side plug. So I can't plug anything into this, into a JAMA. So this is untestable. Now, it came, it was sent in by Bobby Brown. Oh, here we are. Craig from Ralph, Donkey Kong four board set. It looks like, and it's 627. So th this is ages ago. But anyway, uh, Brady Distributing is, is stamped on it. There is zero damage, okay? There is nothing missing. And, I, you know, it doesn't appear that the board sets were taken apart, but they might have been. Anyway, we are having this up, as you can see, for an auction. So if you want to buy this board set, it is untested, truly untested. But there is a very good chance it'll work. Hillbilly Pimble, who just joined tonight, he just signed on, 
we, I approved him earlier, uh, has offered $60 for it. And, and I agree with Puck Chucker. It is unmolested and unfettered by human hypotheses and divinely authorized. There it is. So we have 75 offered for this thing. Yes. Um, <laughs> oh, Elric, that was mean. <sighs> you know, I'm going to have to get some uh, orange juice, Terry, because Mr. Throat is not doing well. Can you grab my thing of orange juice? Do you want to put the timer on this one, uh, No, no, no timer yet, because Tim Hoffman. Oh, Tim, your stuff is boxed, three big boxes. Tim bought the pole position boards. And, oh, that other sale, the live sale, we sold the Cubert. We sold the pole position boards. We sold the Atari cat box. That's it. That, ex that really expensive. T that's it. The tester. Can you pour it in a large mug, please? And, um, the, oh, but, but the one thing that didn't sell is right here. That is the Bally tester. That'll be item 20 for tonight. Now, to point out, next Saturday, on Monday, I'm going to start listing a whole bunch of stuff for next Saturday. We are going to have a rare next Saturday. I'm going, to, I'm going to give you a little advance while we wait for Terry to come back. Firebird is the high bidder at 120. If you're watching on Facebook or Twitch, you can watch and comment. I won't be able to read the comments right now, but you're welcome to do that. Uh, but if you want to bid, you've got to go on our sale site. Terry, when you get back, can you look at the sales site and see if anybody's uh, sitting? Thank you, young lady. Uh, anybody needs to be approved. Go ahead. 300, yes. Next Saturday, we'll have a like new VS Mock Rider Nintendo uh, VS kit. Uh, I never bought one, so it's got to have. Um, uh, it, I, it's got to be kind of rare. Yes, Tommy did did sleep on a ski ball, and uh, no, Timmy did. Tommy slept on the dance dance machine floor. Uh, that's what it was. Oh yeah, Lenny, you should have come down. The thing actually worked. We hooked the cat boxes in Atari. Um, I'm going to show you. Uh, while we're waiting, Tim is, has the high bid. We're going to do the countdown any minute. But I'm going to show you something about an Atari board that many of you weren't aware of. You may have wondered. Uh, this is the centipede board. Okay? They're the, the connectors to the games. But everybody, what's this? Well, the cat box plugs into it. Now, we did it with this. We plugged the cat box into this and turned it on, and the first thing it said to me was um, no clock. And it has no clock. Clock is another word of saying it has no crystal. Crystal was not present on the board. That witch. So there's no crystal, so the board won't run. I was going to put this up in the auction, but we're going to put a crystal on it because it's fully complete, and it may very well work. So that did not make the auction tonight, but that's what the cat box does. It was a testing unit. It was in like new condition, had the books, had all the stuff with it. It was beautiful. And that I actually took to the UPS place today. So that went, that went out. Crystal broke off the board, not sucked. Start the countdown. Tim's the high bidder. Here we go. If you want this four board set, Donkey Dong, it's untested, but as Rusty said, it's unmolested. It will be yours. This could be yours in seconds. Well, Tim, you are the high bidder. Thank you. Your first purchase, obviously that'll be shipped separately because the pole positions are boxed. Three big boxes. They were 50 pounds a box. Our little friend... If it happens again, then we'll put the phones on Do Not Disturb. Doris Day, Do Not Disturb, Doris Day. Okay. I rem See, that movie came out in 65, and they 
plastered it with TV ads, and I used to watch a lot of TV, so I heard the commercial 4,000 times, and I never forgot it. We are up to an NBA hang time poster. It's a lovely thing. Same one? I will, I, I'll be right back because I'm going to put the phones on Do Not Disturb so we don't have that pig calling us. See, cretins that have no life. See, you can hear me now. See, I'm programming the Do Not Disturb into the console. And let's see here. Good. No more phone calls. It will go right into voicemail. Well, it, I can hear it. And um, let me tell you, the guy that's calling, his pants are down his ankle. And he's going like this. Kids won't know that what that is. I may just go to the bathroom, Gold Wings. I just may while I'm mic'd. Anyway. I have a poster for a buy it now. That's why you don't see a bidding window. I have priced this, I think, very cheap. It's our last NBA jam. I can't believe we got to the end of the hang time poster. There's actually no tears in it. Um, obviously, you can see it's full size. Well, it's a pretty good size. And you can see this lovely man pictured here, right there. He's got his mouth open. I don't know where he learned that from. Oops. And it is rolled, it's not folded. The sea wolf guy would be furious. Actually, Terry, can you show the sea wolf? Do you know where that is on there? Oh, the, yeah. Find the sea wolf. Let me show you a picture. Uh, this really clever guy, uh, uh, one of the artists, gosh, I can't remember his name. He made this poster for us. There it is. That's the sea wolf. Now look at it. On the left side is the truck. It's Dinah Boom Amusements. And there's a sea wolf in there. Okay, and, the, and I am holding folded movie posters. One's Home Alone, as you can see, one's Grease. Can you see my spectacles? There they are, and that's that blue suit I wear, that I used to wear, and of course my pinball, my brown pinball tie, and that's the Sea Wolf Man himself. And if you'll notice carefully, I can't see the detail. He's carrying a briefcase, but he, but he, he says uh, health, wealth, and good bearing or something. He had this saying, he's so nuts. But isn't that nice? They made that really nice picture for me. Uh, that I was on uh, Pinside, uh, Pinball Art. Okay, Terry, we're back. There, there are the glasses, see? Anyway, we're up to here now. We're ready. I'm going to flash a picture. Oop. My filter's falling off. Why are you horrified, Terry? I have to have some fun with this. I hate people that bother me. Which joke? The pants down by the ankles. Oh, it's true. My haters, that's what they do. They sit in a dark room in the basement, naked, ordering mom brings them down a hot pocket every hour, and that's what they do. They watch my videos, and then they fo make phone calls. Okay, here is the pick. Here's the price. Who would like to buy the poster for $25? And it is sold. Phil bought it. Phil! Now that's Phil from Pittsburgh. He's coming out for our sale next week with his son. Phil, we have another another thing for you, another piece of job, another wonderful item that is now in your house. Um, oh, now here's something neat. I found this. I, I remember when they were making these, they thought they were the cat's meow. They really did. Uh, there was a time when you could not get new parts for games, the video game parts, like overlays. You went to the distributor, it's going to take two months, and you, did, you needed it right away. So a company named Willis started making their own overlays for the games. Now, what made this unique, the Willis overlay, that's what this is, has different artwork so they didn't have a copyright problem. So they made a ton of things. Now, 
this has a tear here in the corner. Okay? But the backing, the sticky backing is still on it. Here, Terry's going to show you. Uh, okay? The sticky backing is still on it. There's even the inventory sticker from the place it came from. Isn't that neat? So this is more for a person that wants an oddball overlay. Look, there you are. Ah, ah. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. There I am. There's the, there's the inventory sticker. Um, Willis Ryan made this. As a matter of fact, uh, uh, sweetie, can you just hold the copyright? It says copyright, I think it says 1982, meaning this came out, uh, they started selling these two years into it because Nintendo probably stopped making them. That's right, peekaboo. Peek oh, God, you remember that video. Terry, remember the peekaboo incident in our basement when we did the, uh, the episode of Poor Debbie? <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, we are up to 25 by Tony, and we are now ready to start the countdown. Go ahead, Terry. Hit the countdown button. We got 18 seconds. If you want to bid, you need to bid now. If you're watching on Facebook or on Twitch, you're welcome to join us on the regular sales site so you can bid. Look, Looks like, Tony, you're the winner. Another thing to add to your pile. You've got a pile of great stuff. You really do. You do, don't you? Uh, you don't know. No! 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 I said no! No! You can buy that on Amazon. It's called the No Pen, just N-O. It had a pen in it. The pen fell apart years ago. It's still in the original batteries. I've had so much fun with this. More, more so here than anywhere else, I'll tell you. Uh, okay. We're up to an oddball thing. Um, it's a little bit, the cat cover in the back are a little tattered, but the pages inside are perfect. This is a Gottlieb Pinball Machine parts catalog. It says 1982, but it covers, I think, two years. And it shows you play field information, but also important things like the switch matrix locations, CPU. So it's not just parts, but it, it kind of show, show and highlights everything. Uh, it, it covers a boatload of games right back to their very first digital game. It even covers Caveman. So Cleopatra is in here. Uh, Sinbad. So it gives you, for instance, on this page, here's the playboard information, all the parts. But over here are the switches, lamp locations, and then the CPU locations. So all the switches are listed and numbered, and then you can see where they're listed. Uh, and it goes through a lot of games, some really fun ones you probably never saw. Joker Poker, Close Encounters, I'm sure a lot of you did, and, and, uh, and uh, Charlie's Angels and Pinball Pool. But you know what else this has in here? If you go past the um, System 1 pages, it has some odd games we never saw. The Wide Body Circus. I think I had three of them. Uh, some of these things I never had. Asteroids Annie. All right. So it does have Counterforce. But then it has the James Bond. A lot of you have seen that. Force 2 and Timeline. But how about the Pink Panther? Where the hell did all those go? They've disappeared. And then it has other things, like, for instance, Mars God of War. There's layouts and stuff in here, charts, Devil's Dare. I think it got, and I'll tell you what the last game is. Um, it's up for sale. Puck Chucker has offered 30. So you can bid. You can actually put your, your offers in now. Rocky. Rocky. And then here's Caveman. Look how they depict the television set. Look. The TV. I liked Caveman. I really did. You know, Caveman had a problem with the dip switch packs. There were defective dip switch packs. And uh, it would keep changing languages because Caveman's programmed for four languages. And 
and the video is. So I remember him telling me they had to unsolder the old dip switch packs and put it new ones in because the original ones were defective. So suddenly it was in French or something. Isn't that neat? So if you have a caveman, you're in, fr in France, you can change the language just by flipping. And it's not in the book. So anyway, a black hole, volcano, haunted house, devil's dare. They're all covered in here. So we have $40 by Puck Chucker. Uh, it is 142 pages long. The pages are all numbered. Uh, oh, and it also has general breakdowns of parts. See in the front, it actually is. Here's the chime bell and knocker. Pretty much every unique, every part in the game, including unique ones, are in here. Move it out. Is it too too loud? Timmy, you're back. Are you on your way back from your delivery, Timmikins? So we have uh, ball return parts. Uh, Gottlieb was always very good. I mean, let's face it. Th these are pretty bro big, big drawings. Uh, uh, John, this is our last item of the night, the 20th item. That is a tester. Uh, Aaron has joined us. You, you left Facebook. You didn't like the lag, did you, Aaron? <coughs> <coughs> well, Shawnee's in the car with Timmy, so... Uh, Shawnee's probably doing the texting. But anyway. Uh, my Timmy, we're missing you, young man. The Stargate parts. Oh, did you know Mars God of War was the first game with the Stargate? That was the gate that flopped up. It was later used in Raven and Robo Wars. They called it a Stargate in Robo Wars, too. The double glass light box pot parts. Uh, it's neat. Soundboard. Joystick parts, that was for the caveman. All right, start the countdown. $40, it doesn't look like we're going to go any higher. The countdown has started. There's 14, 19 seconds left to make your decision. To make your decision. A loud and proud, you're welcome to come up, but uh, you can definitely have a party. Uh, we do half size parties now. Counter reset, Wes is now the high bidder. Um, part, uh, we do... 25 at most in our facility. We're allowed to have 50%. And uh, we have a winner. Wes is the winner. Thank you, sir. Um, so if you want to do a party here, instead of, we have a maximum occupancy of 50. In, Phil in Pennsylvania, 1 to 50 are allowed so much space, so many aisles, they come in with a ruler when we originally set this place up. 51 to 200, forget these small rooms, out. You gotta have double everything. So I decided to keep it at fifty people. So that's why our place is smaller. A lot of people say, Why didn't you build it bigger? Go so ah. Oh, I told him already. This is our number fifth twenty. Well, that's item twenty. Okay, look what came in the mail. Let's see. Thursday. This came from Escape Pod. Some wonderful folks that make Beautiful artwork for us. Um, Renee, who's going to get his games next week, Renee ordered a Ghostbusters from me. Oh, no, no, we're restoring the one he sent me. That's what it was. He found a two-player Ghostbusters. Anyway, we ordered the side art. It was shipped on December 1st. December 1st. <coughs> it just arrived. Just arrived on Thursday. Seven weeks. Unmolested. Fine condition. Where was it? Well, it went around the country. It went everywhere, except to me. Now, in the meantime, Escape Pod, I emailed him. I said, I'd really, really see. You know what he did? He went and sent me another set of side art, and he sent it second day air, I guess, to make sure it came. That was very, completely free. So I told him, when and if this comes, I'll try to sell it for the sale, the regular price. So, if you buy this, I'm actually going to send the money to our friend at Escape Pod. It is brand new side art for a Ghostbusters. But we put it on a Berserk cabinet. It fits. And it's really nice. It's actually very nice. There's a left and right side. And there it is. Did a beautiful job with this. It went right on easily onto our Berserk cabinet. 
And there it is. So we have a left and a right. Obviously, they're matching uh, each side. And we have to have a buy it now price. Terry, you can put the price up. This is exactly what it sells for on his site. But I will ship it to you with your other stuff so you won't have to pay a second shipping charge because it'll be included with anything else you order. Are there any takers? Because otherwise, I'm going to send it back to him so he can resell it. But I did say I'd try to sell it to you guys. And, you know, you have to have a need for it, of course. But who knows? You may want it. It doesn't look like we have any interest, though, Terry. No interest! It looks like Escape Pod will be getting this back. So if anybody uh, wants to bid, we're going to put the 22nd counter on now. Start it, young lady. And on Monday, we don't have a buyer from you guys. No big crisis. I'm just going to send it back to Escape Pod so he can put it back in his inventory. All right, we're counting down. We got five seconds to go. And it looks like we are done. So when you do need it, he has it for sale. It's $99 a set. George, thank you very much. $10 and 30% to those YouTube creators. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's great. And Bill, Bill DeGange says, another classic cab that bites the dust. It came in that way. Do you know there was a time when Berserk was only making $2 a week? How are you going to live on that? So then you bought, you bought a, a, a year of Kung Fu or a Russian attack. You put another game in it so you could make money. These games were designed to make money, not to be in people's game rooms. And when people put them in game rooms, we used to sell Russian attack and ghost uh, and think uh, go, I sold a three-player Ghostbusters for six ninety-nine years ago. Nobody wanted it. I wish I could get it back. I did try. He did move. I tried to. I still have a lot of phone numbers, and I tried to call. Um, box next, next to the right of the video where the chat area is, is supposed to be grayed out. Refuse connection. YouTube. Tried leave voting. Hmm. Uh, is anybody else having trouble with the chat? If they could tell us, because this is a test. Uh, on their screen, because the chat's supposed to be up when we show the stuff on the TV screen here, um, uh, on the uh, sale.tntamusements.com. Remember, if you're Facebooking, I see there's a bunch of Facebook people watching, too. Um, let's see. I'm trying to get... Matthew, uh, uh, D Matthew Edward Marvel. It's sale.tntamusements.com. Terry, can you see if anybody needs to be uh, have their email approved? She's going to look now. Um, can, uh, Matthew, can you get on to the uh, uh, on to our sales site? Uh, we had people typing in their password and they hit the space button, so their password was, uh, you know, Joe Blow or something. They put an extra space in by accident. So the machine thought it was um, that was the password. I was going to see if Jillian thought it might be a good idea uh, that we have them type the password twice. Is that a possibility, Jillian? Uh, this is not the fart button. This is the... Hey, good job. Just kidding. Fail. Oh. <laughs> anyway. I have to look and see what works. Ah, soundboards. We have, I've never offered these before. You know, this is sale 18A. We have one other A we did because I wasn't planning to make this a regular full sale. Uh, so that means we've had 20 of these sales. We've never offered these small uh, valley soundboards before. These were used from 1978 to 1979. It was a limited number of games. Star Trek, Playboy, uh, Paragon, Lost World. Uh, blah, 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 blah. A Six Million Dollar Man. There's probably one or two more. All right. Now, here's the deal with them. One of them says bad. Now, one new capacitor was put in. It's fully complete. Nothing is missing except the socketed 
program chip at the top. Now, this board system used either an 18 or a 35. That is what was plugged in there. It is not there now. Okay? But everything else is present, including the volume pots. This other board uh, is, is it's missing that the socket and the chip up here. There's no socket. And it's also over here, there's a chip that's been sucked off the board, all right, next to a capacitor. But everything else is on the board. They were removed professionally. The holes are full. So there is no traces screwed up. This was done professionally at a um, regular tech school. These are all coming from there. Okay, so we have the two. And right now, Phil's the high bidder at $50, so it's $25 a board. These are not, a, they're not remade yet. Nobody made them yet. So we're offering them now. Phil's the high bidder. We're going to start the countdown, Terry. Phil, it looks like you are going to get these boards, because, but there's still 17 seconds left. So somebody, somebody may outbid it. Let's see what happens. I can't see the, uh, the chat on Twitch at all. Yeah. All right. Um, okay. The uh, bidding went up to fifty. All right. Fill out bid at sixty-five. I didn't get a chance to mention the other fellow. So the two boards, sixty-five dollars. Um, I actually only have three of these left that work. I have them on my shelf because I can't get them. I've been buying games. Sorry, right, Phil is sixty-five. Uh, looks like you were the winner, Phil. Thank you, sir. Uh, you can't get. Uh, we're buying games, and the boards are missing. <laughs> so you open up the game, and there's, it's missing the soundboard. Somebody took it out. I, we, honest to God, in this area, we have this, this local guy, a repairman, that goes out to the house, says, this board's bad, takes the board out, says, I need 200 bucks, takes the cash, and they never see him again. It's happened so many times. And uh, it's sad, but that's the way it is. Uh, so... Somebody says they're going to take your board out, and all they have is a rinky-dink half-page website and a cell phone number. Uh, it may not be a wise move to let them take the board. Ah, anyway, we are now up. Yes, Phil, I think you got a good deal uh, at Lenny. Analyzer 21F is Lenny. You've seen him here before. He comes here just to annoy me. Actually, he joins me to Daddy Pops a lot. I'll be going tomorrow, but late. Sunday, I'll be going late. And Terry, we're celebrating her birthday tomorrow. My little Terrikins is going to be 22 years old. My baby. I'm a 65-year-old guy with a 22-year-old daughter. Oh. But she's a good kid. Yes. Anyway, we are now... Bid box closed and disappeared... When I hit enter, I don't know. Well, this has a reserve, so people could start bidding on these. That is for sure. If you're watching, I see there's comments on um, Facebook. If you're watching on Facebook, I thought it would come up. Yes, yeah, so on the bottom of your screen, it tells you where to register. Sale.tntmusements.com. It's a secure site uh, through Jillian. She has it all secured. Uh, we have eight... Defender, Stargate, Robotron, Joust boards. I'm going to show them all to you. Now, the last batch of them were missing most of the Rams. This batch has them, almost all of them. But we have some battery damage. Now, the first board is Stargate, uh, Joust, Robotron, Sinistar. There is zero battery damage. And all the RAMs are in it, but it's missing that processor. I don't think putting the processor in will make the board work. Uh, th but these came from this, this place. We did not do anything to these. I literally unboxed these things and brought them over. We have so many boards. We have hundreds of boards that we'll be offering. All right, board number two is the original Defender board. Because it's, see how this is way up in the corner. This is Defender. It only had one ROM. So this is the original Defender that came out, the classic. Uh, this one has 
just a tiny bit of battery damage around the holder, but some clodhopper took all of the rams out. It wasn't me. All right, board number three is very clean. There is no, no acid at all. Oh, the crystal's here, too. Mr. She's there. This is a 2-3, so this is a Defender. It has most of the rams, and boy, the legs are, are silver on them. They're not all black and tarnished. You could pop all the rams out and, and use them, but this is a board I would probably fix. It's also missing the processor. Okay, we're up to 160 for Scott so far. All right, board number four has, mo has all the rams but one. Why are people taking that processor out? Uh, you know, the other set had them all in it. It still has the batteries in it. And they've leaked. Um, back side of the board is clean. I think this is just dirt. No, there's a little acid. I, I think it's definitely cleanable. Okay, next board is a Stargate Joust Defender. It's a 4 6 board. The ROMs are 4 6. What happened to 5? How come there's no ROM 5? Anyway, no battery damage. Holder, holder you have to change. You'd want to put Frank's button, uh, battery board on this anyway, right? Is Frank still in the back? Okay. Uh, has all the RAMs. You're going to have to pop the legs out. You know, you can clean the legs of the rams. We do it all the time. You pull the ram out and you wash it. You clean it. I uh, see Pat and Charles are all watching on Facebook. I have Facebook running on my screen, which is great. You're welcome to watch there. But, um, ooh, it looks like a long delay. Wow. you got a delay here, guys. Yeah, you... Um, I, I, we, we're almost direct. I think we only have a five-second delay. Uh, just 20 items, Tammy. Um, my, do, my other daughter's on, who turns 25 next month. Right? Next month, Tammy? Yes. Um, yeah, Terry, Terry would love to be a sweet 16, but, you know, anyway. Uh, it's, tomorrow's her birthday, so we're going to go out. To, she wants to go out to... Uh, we haven't been to the steakhouse since COVID came out. Uh, which is the one we like, uh, Terry? Longhorn. Longhorn Steakhouse. We haven't been there since uh, February, which I really know. That's very nice of you. Uh, you we could do... Uh, no, she's not doing a party at TNT this year. Uh, we, we did two parties today, though. We had one regular birthday party. Really sweet little kid. And they had a lot of fun. Of course they did. Oh, and the mother told me she was here. No, no, it was the next party. Next party was a small group. They said she was here when she was seven. She had a birthday party here when she was seven. She always remembered it. She'd always remembered running in the little holes in the wall. And she remembered the open the safe game. Do you remember that neat game where you had the dial and you have to try to crack the safe? She said she remembered that all these years. Isn't that something? We've been doing parties for 34 years. Over, we all went over 25,000. COVID killed that. Anyway, let's finish. Uh, we up to 180 from Tim. Next board. Uh, no battery damage. It's just dusty. <sighs> uh, all the RAMs are here, but it's missing the ROMs. I'm sure this is Defender. It's missing the two ROMs. But no, 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 it isn't. It has this jumper in it. So this has to be Stargate, and then it's missing the processor. Every board is missing the processor tonight. Um, oh, now this one's special because it has a card. The card says, Joust Main ROM Exchange, $90. So they must have taken this in exchange and charged them $90. Uh, battery holders rusty. Order battery boards from our website, $13.99. Lithium battery you can buy at the store or online. You can buy them really cheap online. You can buy for, I guess, at like 40 cents each instead of going to CVS and paying $4. But anyway, this is all the RAMs are there again, all of them. But it's missing the two ROMs and it's missing the um, logic or the processor. But it's just. 
Oh, my beautiful wife. My beautiful, gorgeous wife. I'm going to have to put a clip up. Uh, I don't think we have any clips now. But my beautiful wife. But it's, it's not her birthday, though. But if she's watching, she can hear me. Hello, Mom. She puts up with me. And the final board. And now this is rather interesting. This is a Defender. The Clodhopper left the batteries in it. It's the level one, but it has the processor, and it has the EEPROM, and this is ROM 1. So when you have a Defender, the newer one has ROM 2 and 3. It's ROM 1. All of the RAMs are in place, and none of the legs are black. However, it's got battery damage, and you know what? It's bad. It's fine on this side, but it's not nice on this side. Yeah, it, it's not nice. This corner of the board is not nice. So we have one ugly board out of the best. Jersey Bills, the high bidder at 200. We're starting to count down right now for eight Defender, Joust, Robotron, uh, Stargate boards. We got a bunch of people watching. Want to do countdowns down to 12. Jersey Bills, the high bidder. Remember, we're going to pack everything. We're going to send you a bill. Wait for me to send you the bill. We'll send it the cheapest possible way. If there's a refund, Scott's jumped into 205. If the bid, if, if the shipping is less, we will give you a refund. Everybody knows it. Even if it's only $3, we'll send your money back. Okay? Uh, and even if the shipping is more, we don't charge you anymore. Okay, we're down to... Okay, Jersey Bills jumped in at 210. 210. Good. So my mother loves me. Uh, it's probably me, Lad. I'm better singer than her. Oh, oh, Terry, you're mean. Uh, uh, Two twenty-five. Scott's the high bidder. It looks like Scott, you are the now the proud owner. Thank you, sir. We appreciate it. When we wrap these, we don't stack them up. We wrap each board in bubble. Okay. The boards will not get damaged unless the UPS truck drives over the box, which has happened. Not recently, though. Thank you, Terry. We're going to have some great stuff next Saturday. Okay? We're going to have 60 items. Um, it is 9.04, and we're up to item 11. So believe it or not, we're actually going to probably end at 10. No, no, we'll be sooner than that because we went through 11 items. We started late, too. Uh, we had some trouble with a key. To get on all three networks, uh, you have to put a key in. And uh, Jillian took care of that for us. Now, next item is a working, as clean as a whistle, Miss Pac-Man launcher board that just came out of a game that we are converting to a multi-cade. The customer did not want us to... Picture tube went bad. Did not want another picture tube. He was done. So he said, uh, I want to get a multicade. Now, this is a board that we had cleaned and serviced. So we'd taken the chips out, cleaned them. Uh, it has two new caps in the 12-volt circuit. Okay? Board works perfect. Even the satellite boards are wire-tied in. This is a buy-it now. How come there's an offer if it's a buy-it now? How's that possible, Terry? Mm -hmm. Okay. I didn't press the buy it now either. Okay. Dave Drew uh, purchased it. Yeah, I didn't think you could make a bid when it's set up for a buy it now. Okay, but David Drew is the owner. Miss Pac-Man uh, board, it does work 100%. And uh, that will go out to David. That's your first purchase tonight. Okay. We are now up to... Um, Street Fighter. Item 12. We're up to 12. We have 20 things tonight. 20 things. Uh, I probably will never have a final sale because we have too much stuff. There's so much stuff. Uh, so much stuff. Anyway, now this one, it's a Street Fighter 2 hyper-fighting. It is not a champ. It's a hyper fighting. Clean as a whistle. God, we have had, we've sold, I don't know, a dozen of these now so far. Um, we're going to show you the screen. The Pac-Man board, clean as a whistle, sold for one and a quarter. 
Um, I think, Jillian, you know what? I don't know if the sale prices stay up anywhere, Jillian. I just thought of that. And I guess people have to watch the video later because all these videos are available for reruns. And that's if you want to watch all this wonderful humor. Terry, I don't think they want to watch all my wonderful humor. Now, see, here's the beauty. I can walk away, and you can still hear my voice, and I can do anything I want. I can show you the Street Fighter, for instance. But the first thing I want to do is show you the birthday girl. There she is, the birthday girl. Ah, <sighs> The birthday girl. Anyway, I have to do something about the light on the top. I really do. Let me see if... Uh, but... No, I'm going to have to do, figure out how to do... Anyway. I'm really good at this. Here, watch. See? That's how you play it. I'm winning, Terry. What a great game. Uh, let me tell you something. Uh, when the Street Fighter Champs came out, the brand new games um, were 30... Thirty-five ninety-nine. That's how much this, the game cost. But boy, did it make money! And then for three hundred dollars, they sold you a kit that they had little holograms on the chips that made it uh, champ, uh, super champ, or something. I don't remember now. But we did very well with this game, and now I want to do very well and sell it to you. All right, uh, you can set it up there again. I'm going to walk around. Hey, Curdy, do you want to be on the show? <coughs> the people want to see you. Uh, there, turn around and look at the camera. There's Frank. There's my Franklin. There's Curdy. He's working on Demo Man. Frank's working on that Pac Man, that Miss Pac Man cabaret. We're converting it forever. All right, let me set this back up. There we go. Okay, let me turn the lights back on. All right, there we go. My Frank, you got to go. Go to the bathroom or go home. You know, it's early. This is not leaving time, young man. You know, there's only 13 people watching on Facebook, so maybe it's not really worthwhile, but we have 127 watching. Oh, Phil, thank you. <coughs> Phil bought lunch for all the boys at dinner for a couple because we went uh, to Applebee's last night. So all my boys think Phil's walking on water. It's very kind of him. Yes, yeah, start the countdown. 225 by Rampage Nick. This beautiful board will be yours, young man. So far, you're the high bidder. The countdown is raging. 230. Oh, oh. You've been clipped. The key is to watch on the website for the green light and the button to show it will appear before Todd says. Oh, okay. Uh, Frank has lost... Uh, hmm. Frank, how many pounds have you lost? 20? 400. He's lost 400 pounds. Chopped off his head. He lost 400 and now he's only 600 pounds. No, Kurt, you're so mean to that big, beautiful... They, yeah, they actually, people say the. Uh, you, do you have your mic on, Terry? No. Can you hear me? Yeah, Kurt says Frank has lost 400 pounds. He's now down to 600. That's so mean. Oh, somebody bought the Maverick. It's gone. I sold the Maverick. Is this today. thing working? Oh, there it goes. But we do. Do we have a bit? We have a uh, buyer? Yes. Okay, here 235. it is. 235. 235. Ra uh, Rampage Nick. Thank you, sir. Really appreciate it. And we will get that out to you if that's the only one you bought today. Um, yeah, the uh, you have that. Yeah, we uh, we got in a beautiful road show we had sold years ago. Uh, we're offering it for a lot less if you want to put the LEDs in it. The game's perfect. It really is nice. Uh, we also have a beautiful Dirty Harry that we only sold recently, and they wanted regular lights. They didn't want LEDs, so we have that up on the website. To buy it real cheap that way. Go ahead, Frankie. Is this thing on? Yeah. Hi. Not that one. Uh, no, it's the mic's over here. Oh, uh, they can see me. 
Well, they did. I think they did. I think we saw your face. It's so ugly. It is. You're a horrible man. They're upset that you conf- you're converting that Miss Pac-Man cabaret. <sighs> yeah, well, you got to do. Oh, actually, uh, do you have one for it? Huh? You mean there's no... Um, I don't know. I didn't order them. I'm not perfect. Well, I think I am. Anyway, my wife thinks I'm perfect. All right, here's some board that. Well, that yes, Johnny, yes. And uh, there's V. V is here. The V is Tammy's best friend, and she's joined us. And she said, "Terry, Terry, Terry," in honor of her birthday. Yes, that's right. All right. Well, LEDs, you know, it's interesting. I, I played the Dirty Harry with this guy, and he says the light bulbs look fine. So I said, well, maybe you should, like, get the light bulbs. You'll save yourself a 1000 bucks of the price. And we don't have to take it all apart to do it, add all the extra lights. But uh, it seems to be the way to go. But anyway, he didn't, um, he didn't buy it, so that was that. Yes, Curdy, Curdy is in the back at arcade first. Uh, yeah, this seems to work out better because I can wander around. Uh, Tammy, do you think I should dress up as a powder puff girl too? Here's an unusual item. I'm going to tell you about this board. This is a Murray darts. This will probably work in a Capcom or a Crapcom bowling. Okay, because there's also up here in the corner, there's a connector for the trackball. It's JAMA. What, this was the first game to offer two-way hookup. You could put it in a vertical game or a horizontal game. Okay? So you could put it in either game and set it up for either system. So if you wanted to convert, let's say, a missile command, which is horizontal, you have to change the harness, of course, you set the game up to play horizontally, so the game can, game sets itself up this way. But if you wanted to convert your vertical Pac-Man or something, you didn't have to turn the monitor. Isn't that clever? The company that made it is um, AmeriCorp, and it was uh, it was their one and only game in 1989. They went bankrupt. They lost everything, everything. But we have this board. Uh, J Vibe has made the offer. Frank, could you move the camera over to the the game screen? Because I'm going to plug the board in, and then you'll see the setup of the game as it loads. The prob yeah, there it will be. I'm gonna I'm gonna put something up on covering up the light. So I just wanted to get that plugged in and running. And what we'll do here is I'm gonna cover this up so you can see it a little better. There we go. Now, to test the trackball, push the test button at this time if the show inputs screen does not appear. So you'd roll the trackball. See how the orientation is? So you would set where it points up. So I set it because the screen's pointing up. It's now set up for a horizontal play. Now, because we can't physically play it because there's no trackball in the game, let me see if I can start it this way. Because I did earlier. Hmm. Let me see how we... S- oh, you know what? There's no credits on it. That's why. I think that's the reason. Let me see. Hmm. I had Sam before. Yeah, you're not going to see. Uh, this shows you. It's sort of like a cartoon. Uh, if you don't do it in enough time, it blows up. Of course, we can't show it. I wonder why I don't have Sam now. I did earlier. But anyway, if anybody's interested in this board, it's certainly unique. 
I'm almost positive you can do a direct plug-in to a Crapcom Bowling and have two games to offer, darts and this. It is available. Uh, we have a, it has already met the reserve of $40, so the board will sell, uh, and we will start the countdown. What do you think, Kurt? Start the countdown, Terry. 40 bucks for a working Amara darts. Uh, it must be on screen volume. I don't see anything on this. No, no, because the countdown started. It's $40, and it is officially sold. Thank you. Kids go bonkers for Amara darts. Actually, they don't, but... Uh, remember we did two kits for this, Kurt? We, we actually put it in location. It never made any money, but, you know, that was the story of pretty much everything. I remember a guy brought us one to build him one, and he put it in a laundromat, and it didn't make any money either because he thought he was going to convert a whole bunch of them. We're up to a buy it now. It did not sell last week. It did not sell. I don't know why because it works. Kirk, can you stay handy because I'm going to need you to uh, uh, start the game. This is a Konami stupid basketball. I'm making it a buy it now. The, the lowest price stupid basketball PCB you'll be able to buy anywhere, including eBay. You'll never find it this cheap because we want to get rid of it. I need it out of here. There it is. Konami, that's our wonderful JAMA connector. This is made... Let me see who makes this one. There's two places that make it. This is made by ArcadeShop.com. Steve and Terry there make this wonderful board. Uh, then there's also Mike's Arcade that makes others. It's really nice that people are making these conversion games uh, boards. Let me plug this in. It should be loading. Can you move Mr. Camera over? <coughs> so people... This game has tons of vocal lines. It's got a lot of speech. And I think it's got a lot of chips on it that create all the speech. Isn't it great? People love that. Thank you, Terry. Uh, we'll have to figure something better out. I may have to put a separate on-off switch on that. Yeah. Oh, well... That's when we get this back area cleared out. Of. Never oh. 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 Yes, they are, V. They're playing basketball. Anyway, Terry, I think people are ready. They're ready to buy this. One million American dollars. Well, it's going to be cheaper than last week. Nobody wanted it. Here's the buy it now price. 55 bucks. A working Konami... Stupid basketball board. And is there doesn't seem to be any interest. It's amazing. It's amazing. But there's no interest. Terry, you may start the countdown because it doesn't look like anybody has got their finger poised on the I buy it now button. Oh, oh, I can't sell it for a dollar. The guy wants a lot of money from me. Two. Two. I guess they. I guess that voice would annoy you after a while. One bag and two. Twenty. You know what? I may consider that. Not. There's only 15 people watching on Facebook, Jillian. I guess Facebook isn't the future. I, well, I guess because people are watching it. We have 122 now watching. Are we thinking of changing the date? Aren't we, Kurt? Well, we are thinking of it. All right, we're up to item 14. Which is, no, no, 15. Uh, arcade video, year kung fu. Ah, here we are. Well, this one I know people want. This is a year kung fu. They wanted the whole game. 
No, nobody wanted just the board. Huh? You know what? We have a final fight next door without a board. I think it's a... We have... Yeah, but it's a different edge connector. Pat Gallagher is watching, and Charles. we got a lot of people watching our telecast. Uh, logged in. Oh, really? Okay, 98 are logged in. Okay, that means they can bid. A lot of watchers. Any any uh, any basement trash watching? That's mean. What year we? What year are? Where was it made? What year are? I like that, Lenny. 1985. It was the game of the future. Oh wait a minute. Yeah, I have to. Oh, we're, we're going to move the camera over here. Color's beautiful. Color's beautiful. Captain Retro, you have disappeared. I haven't. We haven't seen you in weeks. Oh, that's because you've been in the basement. Uh. <sighs> Jillian, who's giving us trouble? I haven't looked over here enough. I see there's tons of the combats are rolling through. Well, I, we've seen enough of that. No, well, we. Is it done, Chaka? We always. People tried to get to the third one. The, or the one, the question mark. <laughs> the volume control's touchy on this. I did notice the volume. Part. Board is super clean, it even has the footies on it. So you'll be able to mount it in your game. If, yeah. uh, you know, you could plug this into any other Konami horizontal game. Any horizontal Konami. Yeah, because see, Scrambler is uh, vertical. Yes. Well, I, no, you couldn't play track and field because track and field doesn't have a joystick. Russian attack. You could do Russian attack. And jailbreak. Rusty's going to get his hot pocket. Did you know about... You can... Oh, wait a minute. I forgot. Did you know that a man, a hot pocket, saved this guy's life? I'm honest to goodness. Do a Google search. He got hungry, and he decided to leave the house and get a hot pocket down the street. They had a convenience store down the street. So he left, the, uh, left his house, went down... While he was in the store buying the Hot Pocket, a plane crashed into his house, completely destroyed his house, and, he, and him if he was in it. So a Hot Pocket saved a guy's life. Do a Google search. It's really neat. They're good. They're good. Anyway, we're ready for the countdown. Tim, you're the high offer. It's amazing. It's only $70. I, I thought a board like this sold for a lot more like a week ago. Uh, Lance has brought, brought it up to 80, 70. Oh, we're now we're, uh, Mira, Mirage, I guess it is, is 85. Mirage, maybe that's it. 85 is a high bid. Every time you put a new bid in, it resets to 20. We just do 20 countdowns, and that seems to work very good. And you are the winner. Thank you, sir. Oh, no, wait a minute. Oh, gosh. It got clipped. You got clipped at the last second by Lance. Lance hit the button. This is Lance's first bid. Oh, wait a minute. He's back again. He said, the heck with you. This is item 15 of just 20. You know, there's only 19 people watching on uh, Facebook. So maybe it's not all it's cracked up to be. Because who would watch it where the big lag? They'd come over to this channel and watch it. I guess it's still good to advertise it. Thank you, sir. You are the winner of item 15. We have 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Five items left. But next week, next Saturday, we will have 60 again. 
I have another batch of bloated displays. God, I love saying bloated. Oh, Kurt, you're holding. No, we were describing you before you lost all that weight, young man. Kurt, let me let me show him what you're holding. He is holding a. Here we go. Watch, watch carefully. Look, it is a beautifully uh, coated chrome plated. Uh, do you know what it is? It's a pinball machine. Yes, we did. Your Kurt was working on Demolition Man. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Oh, it's a yeah, tiny, tiny burr. Yeah. Good. Anyway, uh, we send everything out to be plated now. Uh, all the legs. So you buy five. Yes, Paul, you hit the mail right on the head. Buzzkill, you got it. Yeah. Bloated. That's what we have here. All right, Williams went to seven-digit scoring with the Black Knight. That was their first game. The last one used was Riverboat Gambler or Police Trainer? Police Force. Police Force. That was the last. Could you get me more, please? Uh, anyway, the last game... These are seven digit now. Those those machines, police force and taxi, had a master display. These were satellite displays. They're seven digits and they they'll fit any of those games. They'll fit high speed, the two bottom ones, they'll spit comet, space shuttle. Here's the issue. They were in shuffle alleys, and four of the seven digits were on all the time in a bar, just sitting there cooking. So they got bloated. Okay, but the other three were never on, so they're perfect. So three of the seven displays are perfect. The other four are bloated. Well, that's true. But you can still read them. They're perfectly legible, but they're not pretty. They're not gorgeous looking. So you could put it in the fourth player display. Or one guy got all upset when I said you can fill up a um, auction game with it. You're purposely putting bad displays in a in a game for somebody. I said no. They're selling the game at an auction. They're going to get a far lower price than they would retail. So they're outfitting it the way they'd want. Five. This is a buy it now. We're going to sell all five. You know, if you buy the glass, they're sixty bucks. Then you have to spend thirty minutes unsoldering the old glass. And 30 minutes soldering the new one in to make sure you don't tear the eyelets. It's awful. It's worst job in hell unless you have a solder station like Frank that sucks the solder out and such. That's right. They're discovering that some of the glasses, the brand new glasses, don't work. So then you're back to square one. So listen, why don't you buy five displays? You'll have them as spares. At that price right there, 75 bucks, done. Silver Bull has purchased them. They are yours, young man. A great deal because at $15 each, you can't go wrong. All right, next item. Oh, the Operation Wolf. <coughs> All right, let me tell you what we did here. I found an Operation Wolf. Um, it's the standard Tato connector. We found a chip underneath the board that was loose. There's nothing missing on the board. It's not the prettiest board on earth. But uh, it th this is the first time because we washed the board. Thank you. And then uh, uh, we're going to test it. But it the board actually has written on it no sound. But you see, I'm not sure whether this board, I thought, see, this looks like power. I don't think it's going to work either because I think you have to have uh, that hooked up too. But these connectors aren't even close. So we're going to try it. But the last time I tried it earlier, before we found that chip hanging out, it had a white screen. I suspect this is going to be white too. So I'm going to show a close-up of the board. Um, it, it, I don't know what you're going to get. Uh do you see anything that lit up on the screen yet? Just uh, yellow and blue, purple, though. 
yellow and purple. I right, turn the camera over so they can see. Okay. Well, that's more than we had before. All right. Now, I don't know if it's doing that because the top board, I have unplugged it. Now I'm going to plug it back in. Well, the board looks like it's... Did it have a separate MP? See, I don't know. Um, I don't remember. Uh, yes. Uh, well, we have Heiko's here. Hey, Frank. Oh, he went to the toilet. It's one of his hour trips. That was mean. Anyway, it's met the minimum. We had a $25... Uh, minimum on the board. Oh, I'm going to show the board up close. It's not working. However, I don't know. All right, let me see. Yeah, I'm not sure. The problem is YouTube. I can't control uh, bidding. I can have goof-offs from Singapore bid money and never pay us. So that's where we have to go through our site where we can moderate it. Uh, Terry's going to zoom in on the board. Um, it's cruddy. Uh, keep the camera right there. Uh, right on this, the chips here, there's nothing missing from the board. Uh, can you turn? Yeah, that. thank you. Uh, Terry knew where the, the focus was. So I don't know what to tell you on this, folks. But I only found the one board. Oh, oh okay, Frank. Thank you, sir. When you say the morning, are you coming in tomorrow and Sunday? No, Monday. Monday, right. Sometime on Monday. Okay. Okay, baby. Okay. Adios. Uh, do you see? It says no sound. So it didn't have sound, uh, but maybe it'll work. Okay, Terry, start the countdown. I think uh, we're at probably as high up as it's going to go. $25 for the Operation Wolf. Um, maybe if the power is hooked up to the top board... It does have a ribbon cable here, but there is a cable here, but I just don't remember. It's been so long, but uh, it looks like Cypher Link, it's, uh, I can't quite read it, is the high bidder. Tim. Oh, Tim has jumped in at 30. Tim, did you get your stuff yet? Did anybody get their stuff from last week? We got everything out. Oh, the cap right here, this cap on the top is unsoldered or broken. This big tall cap. Lance is now the high bidder. Thirty-five bucks. Operation Wolf that does not work. It did have squares and, and it had an image, so it wasn't like the board is dead in the water. Maybe the bottom board is okay. Uh I don't know. Well, I, how am I going to perform it, Terry? Sing, love it, love it. Living is good. Whoa, living is good. Living is good. Living is good. I can't use it anymore. Okay, uh, Todd got his Thursday. No, the dancing isn't happening. Why not? I'm too old and fat. Well, you, the old infomercial. Terry, for goodness sakes. What's dancing, though? Is it just disco dancing? Well, it was a dance we invented on the spot. Gino, you're watching but not bidding. You can't bid on that stupid Facebook. We have 23 watches on Facebook. We have 127 on YouTube. But I have no idea how many are on Twitch. <coughs> no, not tonight. It ain't gonna happen, young lady. I'm not. I'm not. Well, well, we're we're running late. I thought we'd be over by nine thirty. Let's see. We started this at eight, so I figured it'd be over in ninety minutes. So we're six minutes late, but we only have three items left. Now, I have ten manuals, and a couple of these are really neat. I'm going to show you the the, the the common one first. It's Golden T four. That's wait until you see the others. Here's another sort of common one, Junior Pac-Man. Okay? Now wait until you see this. This, let me find the first one. We have a ripoff. It's very thick. 
This is a, a rarely seen cinematronics, terrific game for two people. When two people play this, it is very thick. <coughs> has a lot of pages in it. And a lot of them are fold out <coughs> schematics. Well, maybe not a lot. Well, maybe I thought I saw fold out. George, I thank you. I'll take I'll take Timmy and Shawnee out. Uh, there is one fold out. It's generally good condition. Now here's the neat thing. With this, the third manual is something called a reference manual. Never heard of it. Never saw a thing. It's a how to fix it manual. It explains the background sound, test procedures, mixer and level translator. Uh, it, it's like a, a block on how to fix it. Um, it, it looks neat. Uh, do the sale topless. And no, uh, there'd be people, they would lose their dinner if I did that. They would not be happy with me. Uh, anyway, uh, there it is. So that's the third or fourth album or fourth manual. Now, here's something neat. This manual is a conversion instructions for four-player Gauntlet 2 to convert your Gauntlet to Gauntlet 2. Do you see that? But watch. Watch carefully. Watch. Zoom. The conversion instructions for two-player gauntlet. Yes, it's printed back-to-back, -back, upside down in the front, back-to-back -back in the other. A very unique manual from the Atari Corporation. Now, Williams, when they released Make Tracks, they never, ever ended up printing a regular manual. They only kept preliminary because the game was a disaster. A disaster. So they never printed a, a full-size manual. But this has all the schematics in it for their make tracks. It also tells you how to set... Now, this is odd. They call them patrol cars. So I always thought it was a paintbrush. But why they would call... Oh, I'm sorry, Moon Patrol. What am I saying make tracks? Moon Patrol. I'll be all right. Where, where did I... Terry, where did I come up with that? I Do I have a... I, maybe I had a make tracks and I got that in my head. It's Moon Patrol preliminary. So forget all that. Moon Patrol, because that has a patrol car. Did you know that little Jeep was a patrol car in Moon Patrol? Uh, I never saw a, a regular manual for it. Uh, Moon Patrol didn't do well. I remember there was only one, when it came out, there was only one on the entire boardwalk. And I don't know what happened. But there, that's the next one. We have a Mortal Kombat 3 kit. It's actually pretty thick with fold out schematics. No, no, this does this one doesn't. The kit didn't have it. But it has a ride along ultimate ROM upgrade kit sheet. Isn't that lovely? Tim, you're the high bidder so far on our manuals. The next one is a Neo Geo four slot uh, manual for two different styles, the twenty five inch and the nineteen inch. I never knew they made a nineteen inch four slot. I, I can't imagine that they did, but they must have. I hear Timikins and my Shawnee. Yep. They're back, my babies. Yet? We're almost done. We're on item 18 out of 20. Good. We made it just in time. You did. Look, Mr. Dew's Wild Wild. We got the game ready to load. Oh, yeah, I know. So I figured we'd finish helping you with it. Good. We have the boys. What did he say? They can hear you say that. He, can, did, he didn't curse, did he? Said well, Paul or uh, Pat. Anyway, uh, Mr. Dew's Wild Ride. Uh, this was a flop. Boy, was it a flop! I converted a Defender to this game, and I think I made five dollars a week on it. It was a disaster, disaster. Uh, but anyway, Mr. Dew's Wild Ride, and finally, a Gapless preliminary. Owner's Operator's Manual. I mean, why bother? All it has in it are the option settings, uh, how to service it, and then finally, fold out. Now, this it did have all the fold out schematics, which was impressive on a preliminary. So it has a bunch of these in the back. So, 
$65 for the 10 manuals. That's basically $650 a manual. Start the countdown, Terry. Uh, a lot cheaper than buying it on eBay. That's right. You'll never find them because they usually want $70 or they want That's you know, $9.99 for a manual, $12.99. <coughs> well, right. now at Lance is up to seven dollars a manual. He's offered seventy dollars. Head Geek has jumped in at eighty. The rare, the two rare ripoff manuals are totally unique. That that service manual is worth it. That's got to be worth its weight in gold. Um, I wear a ball gown at all times. You do, Marcy? Did you say a ball gag? A ball gown. Oh. Ball gag. Boy, oh boy. I thought that's what she said. God, Lance is the high bidder. Is that what you heard? It, it's been rough on the on the. Uh, I've, I've seen people going in on each other in the uh, chat. Oh, oh, I, has it been? Have they been nasty? Nah, it's like funny nasty, but there's been more. Yes, we, uh, Tammy, Sean. Tammy, Tammy says that. Um, Mom says people are gonna lose their dessert, lose their food if you dance. And Tammy says you like the macarena. Is that your favorite dance? No, I hate the macarena. <laughs> Lance has offered $105. Don't you like the Dougie? Huh? Don't you like the Dougie? The Dougie? They like you to it's twerk. The, dance. the Dougie. Do the Dougie. You should do the one like this, Doug. Turn the camera around. So, no, I, I want people to see you. Nah, not You're so huge. No, nope, that's you in front of the camera. Now, did the is the man happy with yeah, his games? Did, did Everything went. Game. Right, we threw his TV out. Television. Color television? Yeah, it was the old projector one. It was like, like this. The this big small. one. Lance is the uh, Lance is the winner. Thank you, Lance. Chicken dance. The chicken dance, yeah. The macarena haunts his dreams. Yes, it does. Well, we're down to two items. One of them is very small, very small. I found this on the shelf. I forgot all about it. Uh, it is a Plate Choice Ten Excite bike. I did test it when we had an Excite uh, a Plate Choice here, and it does work. Okay. So I'll have my stamp on it, so I'll guarantee that it works. Um, Excite bike, oh, nice. And we have a reserve of $10 on it. Um, so we have an offer. Terry, it shut off. What? Oh, oh, okay, I'm sorry. Okay, the offer, okay. Uh, you, okay, so we have an offer of 25 from Daylar. Oh, your first purchase. Head Geek has jumped up to 35 A working Excite bike. Plate choice. Uh, what happened to all these cars? I had so many of these, and they're gone. Gleo, Gleo, you funny. You have all that tax money I need. Head geek. <coughs> at 50. Hmm. I need some more Corona juice. You need your orange juice? Or you drink coffee? Orange juice. Because oh. I have that giant container. Oh, that's a Frenchie one. Nice. Yes, this is Chris, Chris Frenchie. A wonderful artist. He's been very kind to me. And this is one of his mugs that we bought at the show that he signed. Hmm? Do that. Do that. I like your face. They want you to dab. Dabbing. Dabbing? Yeah, you gotta dab down. Like this. Put your head down. How, like this. It's called a dab. Is that dabbing? Yes, good. What's the you purpose your, of that? Vat here? You may refill me. Well, we're down to just one. Thanks for spilling it everywhere. You're Hey, just want to drink it out of the bottle? You know, I could. I could. Let me see. I could. You're so mean to me. Matthew made this for me. Push the Todd button. That's the best one in there. Which one? Push the Todd button on the side. Oh, here's the Todd button. And That's button. The best now, one. I'm going to have a speaker up here so you can actually hear it this That's time. That's the best button. Say, call that the Todd button. That doesn't do anything. Now, that was Steve, and he got a sampling off of the video. Matthew got a sampling. So here it is again. Say, call that the Todd button. That doesn't do anything. I don't do anything. Anyway. We are ready. Fortunately, this didn't get wet from my Timikins. Head Geek is the high bidder. Start the countdown, Terry. Start it. The light is turned yellow, the traffic light. 17 seconds. So and the, I'm going to try to start dabbing. Clock's ticking. 
Oh, I don't like dabbing. I may dab again if this goes... Oh, oh, Acid Rain has jumped in. Acid Rain likes our cartridges. So he's been buying a lot. Head Geek said the heck with Acid Rain. He bought for 70 So we got $70 on the Excite bike. We got 11 seconds to go. There's only 14 watching on Facebook. But remember, this will be available for later viewing and perusing. Uh, it, it, oh, nope. Acid Raid. He's jumped in. He has bumped in. Um, safety Dance Song is so underrated. Safety Dance Song. Okay. Purple Rain. Purple Rain. Acid Rain. Acid Rain. You won, Acid. It is yours, young man. Our final item of the night, you've been watching back here, blinking merrily away. I'm going to recruit Timikins to bring Mr. Camera up so we can show you some details. Um, we are doing a buy it now on this. This will be the lowest price that anybody anywhere on earth will sell this for. Okay? Um, period. Bally made these. If you were a distributor... All professional. Um, the wood case is decent. As you can see, the lights on the back have been merrily blinking away because, in fact, it is testing a lamp driver board. Okay? The cables come out of the game. They sit these nifty little pins to hold the thing up. These pins were actually pins from a Bally pinball machine that used to have mini post rubbers on it. That's what they did. Okay. So anyway, um, there's a there's two there's a there's a power light switch, there's an on off and an auto manual. It's cycling automatically. If you see a light that's not on, it means that transistor's out. And I believe in this game, you're gonna I'm gonna show you how to manually do it. If you flip this switch down, it goes to manual. And then these rollers here let you move it. So this moves up and down, okay? And then this moves right and left. So you'll see all the transistors controlled by U3 are Q42 to Q58. These chips, these black chips here, are the controllers. So this one controls a group, this one controls a group, etc. Now, from years of use, these rarely go bad. It's usually one of these. And it's usually because because of some clod hopper that could be you were changing the bulbs with the power on and you touch the tab of one uh, socket to another. So, anyway, so if we flip through this, we can actually test and see which transistor's out. Now, you see, that last space was here. There was no, nothing there. So let's move to another row. Ooh, looks like all those are working. And then the bottom one? 60 was good. Okay. Now, and the, finally the top one. I think up here, Q12 was out. Oh, no, no, we got a Q2. No, Q7. Oh, wait a minute here. Let, let's see. 16, 7, 3, 2 is out. 1, 4, 10, so it looks like the only transistor not working is Q2. Anyway, we'll go back to auto. Now, obviously, because it's right there in the open, you can twist the transistor off whatever way you want to do it, and then you can go ahead and do your repair. So if you're planning on buying a lot of our lamp driver boards, because we're going to have more, you could buy this and start working on it. <sighs> yes, Lenny, but that you're t the lamp socket you're dropping the screw in is a 110-volt one. The 6-volt one won't do anything. Yes, and I, would I will dance at Tammy's wedding and Terry's when that happens. So, uh, hopefully I won't be 90. And what do you do with finger dancing? A finger bang? Like that? That kind of finger dance? Anyway. 
All right, we have a buy it now price because we are winding down. It is nine fifty two. This went on longer than we can. We have a buy it now price of three hundred dollars for this tester. Uh, I think that's a great deal. I don't think you'll find a valley a working valley lamp tester any cheaper. As a matter of fact, Timmy, let's show them what's inside. Let me turn it off. Inside is the Bally computer system. See, this lifts up for you to put the cords in. Hmm. I can't even You can't? Well, let me pick it up and I'll move it over here. Oh, I know. Wait a minute. Slide it off the, uh, the holder. I assume we'll do that much more time. No, no, I think I think we'll have enough room. No, 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 you just loosen the nut. I, I know how it works. Okay. Whose is this? Mine. That's right. Oh, Thank you him. creep. You're so mean to me. I'm going to go in on for a side view. That's all you got, Doc. Can, can they... I, was say, I just lift the machine and bring it here. Yeah, well, we could. Well, it's plugged into the back. Anyway. Yeah, you Mr. Camera. I'm holding Mr. Camera. We could just bring it a little closer, I guess. Because it's... Oh. It's okay. light. I thought it was heavy. It's wood. So, inside... It's very well crafted. Let me turn the light on because it's going to be dark. Well, I have a light on that, yeah. No, but it's going to be dark when you... That's pretty bright. Now, look at what's unique here. It's Bally has actually named it. See? Lamp dot driver test. See? The circuit board just to test it. An interface here. See the interface is here. Yep, that's this. And then, so, fuses look clean as a whistle. And I think this was an extra. Actually, Kurt needed this. This is a lamp driver for the other game. It does not test those, unfortunately. I wish it did. But uh, there it is. So that's what's running the uh, lamp driver system. I don't know how many of these are left in the world. The uh, come these come out of the side here. See right here, these come out. So when you when you store it for packing, you drop them inside the machine. Right. So your regular connectors to plug in. There we go. Good. Here, move that back. Uh, it doesn't seem to be any interest, but uh, we have this available. 300 is the rock bottom price on this. Um, uh, we'll put the timer on because. Firm. Well, uh, the testers have a value, uh, and sooner or later they sell. Boy, this Facebook is way behind. It shows, it's still showing the connectors on the side. Boy, if you're watching on Facebook, boy, are you waiting a long time. There's only 10 on there. We have 130 viewers now, but we've been broadcasting for an hour and 48 minutes. Well, anyway. <coughs> the countdown is finished. Nobody wanted my wretched... My wretched uh, tester. Joe's going to be screaming. I hope you sold the tester. I said, I'm going to put it up tonight. Yeah, I hope you sold it. Well, we'll have to do something like that at some point. Uh, everything ends up on eBay uh, at some point. Greed Bay. Listen, are you aware we do sell our original infomercial? Okay. Yeah, let me... Show a close up. I will sign it for you. There is the disc. It's a DVD, and both shows are on it. So it's 90 minutes total. Uh, the first episode was filmed in 95, and the second one in 2002. I used to air these all the time. And uh, I, people still remember the lines from the show. So the first one has my hand gag. Oh, I was going to tell you. I called it was Jonathan. So, it was all he said, all the junk. "No, no, no." He said he had it next to your. He purposely put it next to your yellow thing. Oh, oh, oh. And I meant to call you back, but I did call okay, John, and he said, "Oh, I know where it is. I it's put it right there, thing. so it's safe." We're talking about Timmy's um, toolkit. Toolkit. And by the way, before we go, I did want to share with you 
Um, I went to Daddy Puffs the other day, and Grover Silcox was there. He's the one that interviewed me for my uh, uh, the, uh, the, the counterculture uh, episode where we talked about pinball machines. And guess who else joined us? None other than Bernie Sanders. Uh, Terry, can you show them the picture with Grover, Bernie, and me? You just have to click on the... Um, look at that. He actually showed up. He sat right there in the counter next to us, and we chatted for an hour, like two hours. Well, we did it. We had a good job. Anyway, you can turn it off now, Terry. Oh, my brother Rob is uh, the imbecile sidekick. He's staying at home but until COVID is over. But listen, you can buy this on the website. I think it's seven ninety nine. I'm not sure. You get both episodes, and I'll be happy to autograph it for you, too. Oh, oh, when they stopped the auction software. We didn't stop the auction software, did we? I stopped online offers. Oh, and the chat stopped. Okay, she's going to... Did you just turn it back on? Oh, okay. Maybe we shouldn't turn it off next time. Because it, yeah, but I still see comments coming up, but they must be on the... Uh, that's YouTube. That's the difference. Okay. Okay, then we have to... Uh, maybe, Jillian, is there a way to keep the, uh, the chat running even if the online office turns off? Oh, okay, okay. Uh, when they stop the auction software, it stops the... Okay, well, anyway, I hope all of you had a good time tonight. And it's time to wave goodbye. But listen, next Saturday, next Saturday at 7, not at 8, 7 o'clock Eastern Time, we're going to start our 60-piece auction. Uh, and we hope that the auction will end in three hours. We've been able to get, I think, 20. Is that what we figured, 20 items an hour, Terry? Yeah. Something like that. So that's what we're, we're hoping for. But thanks again for watching. And we're going to run the, uh, uh, do you have that, our, our end title music to go up and our end title? Thanks again for watching tonight, folks. This video will be available for you to view again and also read the chat. Good night for now. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for now.